folks. It is Sativa Sunday. <laughs> okay, okay. So, all kidding aside, all kidding aside, you see this little guy up here? You see him? We are going to try and paint a baby chick. Or just a little chick. Yeah, that's what we're going to try and paint today, is the chick. So, we don't even really have to do anything to our canvas if you really don't want to. You don't have to uh, paint it or anything. You can just leave it white or give it a background. Me, knowing me, I am going to give it a background. But what made me in the mood for this beautiful little guy was my new mug. Peep, 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 peep. Love it, I love it, peep, peep. Mm -hmm. It's like my Easter mug. Peep, peep. So it got me in the mood for um, painting a, a little chick. So that's what we're going to try to do today, folks. Again, I got the image off Google. Easy peasy. Image off Google. Yep. And, oh, man. I need a bigger studio. <laughs> no, I don't. I just need more cameras. That's what I need. I need some more cameras. So, we're going to paint this baby chick. Or this chick, whatever you want to call him. Let's call him Phil. <laughs> okay, let's call him Phil. If I remember to call him Phil. So anyway, we got our palette here, okay? A nice, nice little bright palette. I have Mars Black, Cad Orange, Brilliant Yellow, Cad Yellow, Brilliant Blue, uh, Titanium White, and another thing of Titanium White. Okay, easy peasy. And if you, whatever brushes you want to use. You know my favorites are my one inch to cover my canvas. My one inch brush to cover my canvas. I really like my angle brush. And then we have this brush here. Square, flat, wash, round. It's not round. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do first, folks, is I'm going to paint my canvas. So I'm going to get some brilliant blue out. I'm going to get some white to go along with that. Some nice brilliant blue. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint my canvas blue. Yeah, just putting the paint into the canvas. there that nice blue color I'm gonna just turn it around and continue to go up get some more blue get some more white go and just finish painting in the canvas with this blue background blue 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 easy peasy easy peasy just paint in that blue background and what we're going to do next is dry it and here i am using a Vidal Sassoon Cool Touch 1600. <laughs> you use whatever hair dryer you want. Or you can wait for your canvas to dry. It usually takes anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how thick you put your paint on. Okay, me, I am going to use this hair dryer and I'm going to dry it. And you want to use your hair dryer on the lowest heat setting so it doesn't damage your paint. 
and it doesn't do any color changing of your colors because it can change the colors once it's dry with a different heat setting. Okay, so that's all we're going to do. So we're just going to give it a try. And this is where, you know, if you want, you can, uh, you know, pause it, grab a coffee, do whatever you want to do. Me, I'm just going to dry my canvas. Yep, oh, my, my, um, diffuser, I got the joy in it, called joy, called joy, 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 down in my heart. all done there okay well it's mostly dry here so that's the important thing <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my white chalk and I'm going to draw my little guy in and he looks kind of like an M&M &M. a fat M&M so let's draw that. Let's draw kind of looks like a little blobish. Actually, he's too big there because we got to get his wing in. Okay. What I'm going to do is, you know what, I'll just put his wing in and then I'll worry about it. little wings don't really care too much for them there we go little wings and he's got like a little thing on his head there little thing on his head he's got some little feet little chicken feet that come out chicken feet then he's got some oval eyes. And these oval eyes are really close together. Okay, and then there's another oval inside there. Another oval. Another circle. Another circle. And then his little beak. There he is. He doesn't look anything like the drawing. But we're going to paint him up, see what he looks like. That's what we're going to do. We're going to paint him up, see what he looks like. What should we paint first? Should we paint the body first? I think so. What I would like to do first is I'd like to paint him in with the cad yellow because it's a darker yellow so that's what i would like to do i'd like to paint him in first with the cad yellow oh shoot it's really transparent eh it's really transparent i wonder if i add a little bit of white into that hmm? let's add a little bit of yeah that's better add a little bit of white into your cad yellow Painting your little guy in. Paint, paint. Paint in your little, your little chickadee. Painting him in this nice cad yellow with a touch of the titanium white. Mm -hmm. around the lips there and up here paint around the eyes paint 
hanging around everything. There we go. Got his little body painted in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the brilliant yellow, which is a brighter yellow. You don't even have to rinse your brush. You don't even have to rinse your brush. And look at that. Look at how bright that makes it. Nice and bright. Just blending the two together. Blending them together. This nice, brilliant yellow color. Painting him in. There we go. There we go. Now what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to paint in the orange. Okay. So we're going to take a bit of the cat orange, and this is going to be transparent too. So we're going to add a bit of the white into it. Not a lot, because you don't want it to turn peach. So we're just putting that up there. Same with his beak. painting in his beak. Just a little bit more orange up there. And then a little bit here. Oh, and then we got his feet. We got his feet. And we're just going to take the edge of our brush just put in his feet. See? That is easy. I think this is going to be our quickest painting so far. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to add in, actually I'm going to get my round brush for that. I'm going to get my round brush to paint in the white. Actually, let's do the black first, okay? Let's do the black. Looks more like more like the oval. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. That was my son calling again. So we'll get back to painting this guy here. Just doing his eye. Painting his other eye. Painting that in. Now we'll do the white. 
Pinking in the eye. Pinking it in. Again, looks nothing like our drawing, but you know what? That doesn't matter. That does not matter. just going to go damn canvas you're just going to go that traces wing traces other wing and we're gonna do his nose his little beak And then we'll come down here and do his feet. And one more. We're going to trace around this eye here. Just trace around it and trace around this eye. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy baby chick peek peek. Let's just throw some more yellow on him while he's dry. Throw some more yellow on him. Make him a little bit brighter. Yeah. Make him a bit brighter. Easy peasy baby chick painting tutorial. So, hit like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you later, folks.